Hello Star Wars fans and Star Wars friends around the world and welcome to another video. Well this video is uh, to do with um, storing and saving um, food packaging. Now uh, as uh, many of you know that watch my videos, the food packaging side of my Star Wars collection, food and beverage I should say, um, packaging side of my collection is a proper passion of mine. I do collect figures and vehicles and ships and whatnot, but and posters and blah, 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 all the other stuff, but um, I really do love um, the food packaging side of things. And um, a lot of people see my videos and they message me and say, look, uh, how do you get the results? What do you do to do that? And so I do uh, I do answer everyone So I let people know I say look I do this I do that So I thought I'm gonna make some tutorial videos and just quick ones just to say look this is this is For me the basics that I've used for years to save um, collectible storage packaging and uh, So here we go, right? These are Danone um, yogurts. They are uh, they came out in 20 the end, very 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 end of 2015 and they're still available here in the uh, UK throughout 2016 and they're made by Danone now they come in a pack of four which uh, see here uh, I'll use this one because it's it's empty and uh, they come in a pack of four and there's two different designs and now you've got the BB-8 version and then you've also got the first order stormtrooper version now but then you've got different yogurt pots featured on them so you've got BB-8 Kylo Ren, and then there's Ray, and doo -doo 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 -doo. then there's got Captain Phasma. There's Captain Phasma tucked in there. So BB-8, Kylo Ren, there's Ray, and Captain Phasma tucked away in there on that pack. And on this pack, you've got Finn, yay Finn, and then you've got Chewie, and then who we've got tucked in there? I think that's possibly. Oh, it's Kylo Ren tucked in there, and then there's a First Order Stormtrooper. Now, that's kind of it for the pots. Um, how they come is obviously they come they come full of yogurt. Now this is a full pack, and uh, so this is what this is what I do. So opening them, you don't want to tear the lids. So you have to work out where is the where where have you got the most purchase to actually pull back the lid and on these pots it's in the center so there's the large tab sort of shape in the center you're not going to get all four lids off in one sheet so that's not going to happen so what you do need to do you want to get them in the right place now it's easy to do with these ones you can see that the uh, first order stormtrooper there is there and now part of his helmet um, the picture overlaps into this one here so you know that this one goes on top of this one and part of his shoulder goes onto this pot here so therefore that one goes on there and that means the only place for this one to go is there so you can't get it wrong but if you want to get it back in exactly the same place as it came off you need to take a picture so grab your phone grab your camera take a picture of where the pot lids line up with the front of the pots so if you're that sort of um, you want to hear that sort of like sort of perfection and originality in your storage so there are the yogurts inside so these pot the pot lids are actually they're not foil they're foil backed paper so uh, they're nice and strong they're not going to tear so there you go that comes off nice and easily so then you've got to uh, do that with all four and then you've got to eat all four or decant them into something else and eat them at a later date. And uh, don't leave them too long because they're not going to last that long out of the pot. So you need to do it with all four very carefully. So once their lids are off, you need to then move on to the next one. Clean the pots out. So this is uh, one that I've completely cleaned out. Now, not only is it being washed now. People worry about washing labels uh, on the pot lids because they're designed to go into cold storage on these ones The labels are actually quite durable, so they're not going to break up and they're not going to they're really good labels So not all pot um, yogurt pots are this this sort of like label is this well made so um, You do have to Kind of with experience. I've been able to sort of tell that these ones are pretty good. They're quite durable so very uh, warm water, warm soapy water, normal washing up liquid, wash them out, get them all clean, then dry them, then air dry them, and then um, if you want to, you can use uh, Detox, Detox or Detol and uh, go through with a bit of um, kitchen towel and then repeat the cleaning process again, just to get at any sort of nastiness. Now, these are pretty good. Um, 
I haven't done that with these and I've had no issues with the ones I've done previously with um, the last time I did um, uh, yogurt pots was for episode one back in 99 so um, yes yeah, so I've done those and I've had no issues with storing them um, so no nasty sort of no nasty mold or anything <laughs> growing out of the pots they've stored really well um, so then once you've got those done you also need to clean your lids off so here are lids off of those pots now again they've been they've been cleaned and they've been dried now then you have to the tricky bit which for these pots this is uh, this is the trickiest bit for these you need to reapply the lids now these ones are empty which is nice for storage because they're light um, they're not going obviously they're not going to leak they're not going to you can't store yogurt indefinitely it's not going to happen guys um, you've got to do this if you want to store these pots um, you are uh, you, you're creating a really nice collectible piece of packaging for yourself so you need to get these lids back on so you remember what I said about keeping them back in order I've done that completely there so these are all separate lids and I've managed to line them up now with um, lining them up I have tried using super glue in the past um, I really don't recommend super glue because uh, it, it, you get it it's very you've got to obviously you've got to go around the, each of the pot um, rim surfaces and you've, it creates quite a sticky mess and an instantly sticky mess so you end up with all your fingers and your fingers stuck. Don't use super glue, that's a mistake on my part. So you need to use a nice strong craft glue, something that does wash, wipe off and clean away quite easily because you might get a bit of uh, it might be a good bit of glue seeping out from underneath so pop around the edge of the, of the rims of the pots, circles of glue and then quickly apply the pot lids and what you end up with exactly what I have here so these are perfectly restored you can't really tell they've been opened they look great on display and look John Boyega you're on a yogurt pot I wouldn't that be you know, uh, as, as, a, as a young actor wouldn't that be like oh my goodness I've got to buy a thousand pots of these yogurts and I'm going to send them all to everyone at Christmas I know I would so congratulations John Boyega we love you you are you are fantastic um, a fantastic British actor coming through we love to see this and he's very exciting he's got he's doing some very exciting work so we love you john boyega you're you're a top guy and you're on a yogurt pot well done um so yeah we've got a lot of love for john boyega and uh, oh, of course daisy really can't leave any can't leave anyone out she's doing very well also and um but um this is a really cool collectible packaging item for me i know it's not everyone's thing but uh there we go that looks nice. I know it's not everyone's thing, but um, I also do collect the uh, the ships, vehicles, figures, and everything else. And the posters and everything. Yeah, pretty much as everything, as everything as everything can get really. And um, but uh, this is something I am very passionate about. Um, not everybody does it, so it makes it a little bit different. And um, it's also if you buy a carded figure or a black series six inch figure it's in a box as long as you don't crush the box bend the card you know you're okay um, with these it's it's you've got a lot of preparation work to get it to the level that it's a it's a it's an item that you can put it away in your collection and um, or display it and so it looks it, so it looks that good um it, it's time and effort and uh, my my wife does get quite um she's like oh so how many yogurt pots do you need um, she doesn't sound like that by the way she'll kill me for that and um, I'll be like, well, uh, there's two different types. I need, um, I need, you, you, so you need one of each type then. Uh, well, not really, because I need to buy, initially, I, I have to buy at least two of each, because if I know I'm going to be doing this, I'm going to be, going to be saving them, I need to make sure that I've got one that I can, I can destroy if necessary, because sometimes it, I, I have to learn from my mistakes. And you have to learn a technique with a new piece of packaging. Um, so, well, uh, so we'll have yogurt pots on the draining board drying out and and she'll be so you've got how many yogurt pots of the same type oh, oh, 10 and she'll be right do you really need that much that many yogurt pots and you well yeah probably i do yeah i think i do um so uh, you can go nuts but something i do recommend with the collectible food packaging um if you're going to do it shop around um, I've got an amazing boss in the States and she finds me the most amazing American Star Wars food packaging um, which I love her to bits for that and um, she's absolutely amazing 
Um, so I get a lot of stuff from the States and I'm very grateful because there are a few people around the world that do send me some bits and uh, we trade bits and uh, you know I get some nice bits from around the world and um, some people are, uh, you know, are absolutely awesome and they, they do what I do and they'll trade something a pack of these from an Australian pack of these uh, the Australian equivalent and so I'll get something really cool and it's as simple as trading something that's been done to a very high standard and uh, so I like doing that that's good um, but um, you, it's um, yeah it's a bit different and it's uh, it's a lot of fun and it's uh, I think it's because it's different um, my food packaging sele um, selection is, is enormous and uh, very varied and um, from from right around the world um, so it's something in my collection that I'm really proud of uh, so that's it guys that's the yogurt pots done and check out my other videos for other other little notelets and tutorials on how to how to uh, save packaging and other items but uh, until then um, thank you very much for watching do check me out on Twitter do um, do follow me there and uh, um, check out my tweets and uh, I do find lots of amazing Star Wars bargains and um, I, uh, I hashtag them under Star Wars bargains and I am the originator of Star Wars bargains so um, check check out just hashtag Star Wars bargains and see what see what's come up and uh, it's, I'm really grateful there's a lot of people been using that and they've been um, they've been finding Star Wars bargains and hashtagging their Star Wars bargains so uh, it's it's a quite a uh, cool little hashtag now so um, and, um, do follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to subscribe to me on here. If you're collecting something that I haven't seen, I'd love to see it. So um, link me into something, send me a message, say, look, check out my videos, look, I found this and that. And uh, I'll be, oh, wow, that's so cool. I love seeing new stuff, uh, stuff I haven't found yet. Absolutely, you know, it does so. Uh, it gives, gives it, uh, every collector knows, it gives you a proper sort of collector buzz. So, so there you go. Right, anyway, guys, as always, I appreciate you watching. Well done for making it to the end of the video. That's uh, 12 minutes you're never going to get back. <laughs> um, and may the force be with you. Bye for now, guys.